much are you trainers, please? Eight pounds. Eight. Okay, thank you. again we're off to another boot sale it's real car boot this time and yeah we are looking for stuff to collect and to resell for profit because that is my job my full-time job believe it or not so yeah a bit of both always like to find things for the collection too so it's not always about reselling uh, oh morning mr. magpie Okay, lovely, thank you. Sorry. Okay, lovely, thank you. Thank you. Do 10 on that lot? 10 for the lot. Uh, we do V? No, I can't, mate, it's too uh, early. I'll just take that one then, mate. Yep, okay, no, thank you. Oh, thank you, mate. How much is your hat and bag? Um, is there a place on it, isn't it? Is there? Sorry. Oh. Let's have a look on the hat, it might be on there. I'm not seeing anything. No, I'm not seeing anything. Either. What about your stain? That, oh, sorry. There, that's on three. That's on that three. Yeah. Republic of Gamers. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave it for now. Yep, okay. Thank you. Cheers. I'll take your hat. Yep. I'll okay. take it. Thank you. I'll do your stain as well. Okay, thank you. How are you for change? Um. Oh, hang on, I've got a 10. You've got a 2. Fifteen, mate. Fifteen. Only because I've never ever seen a pair. Yeah. Before. Funky looking, aren't they? Yeah. Twelve would be the best place I've gone. Twelve, let me have a look. <laughs> I've got a pair of uh, Mendel ones. What Mendel? Mendel. M E N D L. They were more expensive than the brass ones. I think they're size 10, mate. I think we need insoles to put them in. Yeah, that one needs an insole. I'd be in at 10, but that's probably my best. What about 11? Go on then. Thank 
How much are those, please? They are two pounds each. Is your car? Uh, two pounds that one. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Lovely, thank you. Yes. What, how much is your tiger? 20 pounds that Okay. One. How much are your trainers, please? Two, uh, three pounds each, those ones. Choose your ten. Uh, two pounds. You can do it for a pound. Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Goes nicely with the plush. Yeah. There you go. Cheers. Lovely. Thank, thank you. you. Alright, you need a lift. I'm alright. Okay. How much is your helmet? Um, about 10 for 
ten. It's not been in an accident, you just got a new bike and wanted a new helmet. How much is your north face? Five for that, please. Five. I'll take that one, please. Okay. Would you be interested in like five for your helmet? No. 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 How much is that one? What's that? Oh, give me an offer. Never been worn. Fiver? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Do it, Father. Thank you. I'm keeping our eyes shut because I see your camera. Oh, right. I, I, I follow you on YouTube. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Thank Thanks. You. I'll take that. Thank you. Well, we're going in a minute. Grandma, take some. Hang on a minute. Ooh, you're looking. Yeah. Yeah. Right, hang on, let Grandma find it. So the bag. Wait a minute. How much are your shirts, please? Three each. Three each. I'll take those four there. Yep, lovely, thank you, Ash. How much are your trainers, please? Eight. Eight. Okay, thank you. That a pound? Yes, they're all a pound. I'll take it. You've had a good do. Yeah, I've got more in the car. Stock up while you can. That's it, isn't it? Right, quid. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Much. Well, that's it for today at Real Car Boot Sale. We're all finished. And um, we're going to reconvene back at the office. 
and see what we picked up, how much we paid, and most importantly, how much we hope, fingers crossed, to get back for it. See you there. Hey, back from the Sunday real car boot sale and I've got all my pickings behind me. Ready to go as per usual. We're gonna go through it quickly and tell you what I paid and what I hope to get back for it. Um, let's switch you around now. The usual interesting variety of items that we picked up today. Let's start off with these funky looking Nike Airs. Nike Airs. Um, needs a little bit of a clean on the bottom, but the main issue with these are One's missing the um, insole, as you can see there. One is just missing the insole. So I've got to either decide whether I'm going to list them as is or I'm going to source some uh, insoles and put them in. Uh, but these uh, these cost me £11. They're actually in pretty good condition, really, if you look at them closely. Pretty good condition. Uh, so £11 paid. Um, I'm going to shoot for about 80 on these. Might seem a lot, but uh, that seems to be the sort of listed amount. Over 100 for brand new. Uh, but the question is, do I get insoles or do I just list them like that? Mm, not sure yet. Uh, right, let's go through some football shirts. I hardly ever find football shirts at the boot sale these days, but this one is possibly a fake. Um, now, this one cost me £3 as part of a bundle with some Leeds shirts. Um... I think it's a 2021 United top. Um, a couple of things about this, which could have made it, which could have meant it was like a player version. Um, I'm not sure, but if you have a look at the, this is different. This is a different design. This is a different design on the elastic. Slightly different sort of badge. It's almost like a plasticky badge. Um, what else did I look at? I mean, all oh, these things look really good. I mean, the fakes on football shirts are incredible these days. Um, on the bottom. Um, but the thing that really screams at me, and I picked it up anyway because I wanted to check it out. It was only £3, so it wasn't too bad. The thing that really makes me think is the stitching on the neck there. It's just, if even if this is a player version... That should be perfectly stitched on the back, and it, it isn't. Look, it's wonky. It can't be genuine. Um, and then, if you have a look at this, just for you know in the future, this is a really bad... Look at the state of the date badge and the barcode. It's not in good shape. So I'm putting this down as a fake. Let me know what you think in the description so um i paid three pound for it as part of a bundle of uh jerseys i'll show you the rest in a minute but i'm sticking with the theme of united unfortunately and this one i picked up from a channel viewer thank you for the uh, deals and um pretty sure this one's genuine um this i can't remember the year of it i've looked it up um, but the bonus on this one is it has the uh, Barclays Premier League badges on the arms. Not gold ones, I might add. Hmm. Uh, let's leave that there. Let's not start that debate. Um, yeah, pay £5. Happy to pay £5 on it. Um, I'm thinking about £30 on that one. Now, I got, as part of a bundle with the fake one, I got three Leeds United tops. And I think they're all women's tops. Because um, when you look at the sizes, I think they're all 16s or 14. 16, 16, 14. These three are probably somewhere in the region of 20 to £30 each. I paid £3 each on these as well. So I just got them all. Um, I've no reason to believe that these are not genuine, like the, like the first United one. This one, I've looked these up, so I think we're okay on them. We've got... The um, thing on them at the bottom. These three, so three pound each, twenty to thirty. There's varying, varying sort of uh, prices on these. But yeah, that makes me uh, think that these are women's sizes. That's that. Uh, let's stick with some clothing. North Face gilet or body warmer, as we all sort of know them as properly. A youth or junior XL, uh, £5 paid on this gilet. And um, I'm thinking, 
Oh, is that a little mark under there? Possibly a little mark under there. Don't know what that is. I'll have a look. Um, £30. £35 on that, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, Caterpillar gilet. Really thick and chunky cat, cat gilet. Uh, £5 paid. They said, make me an offer. I said, a fiver. They accepted. Happy days. Um, £25 for that one, I think. And also from um, the lady I bought the United Top off for a fiver, who's a channel support, support and very, very shy on camera, um, was this G-Star Raw XL jacket. And this is nice. Um, and G-Star Raw can be a bit slim fitting, so I might try that for myself because that is nice. It's quite thick as well, like a proper coat. Um, £8 paid. Uh, if I was selling this, or I probably will sell it, to be fair. I'm thinking about 40 on it, maybe. Uh, just dropped Pikachu. Let's move over to some plushes. This uh, fella is out of Star Wars. And um, he is a Disney store. Or, yeah, he is Disney. Uh, was this £3? I think that was £3. I bought a few toys on one stall. Um... Twenty twenty pounds, something like that, on that. Um, also, I got the Pikachu um, Detective plush, um, along with I paid three pound for the plush, and I bought this um, Pokemon card tin because I thought that's Detective Pikachu, that's Detective Pikachu. I could sell them as a little bundle, so I paid a pound for that, three pound for that. Um, price wise, on this. Um, I'm I'm thinking maybe about 25 for the two. Those tins, though, they do sell for some good money, so I, I might reserve judgment on that price. Now, I bought some more plushies here, and you might think, Chris, what are you doing? What are these What are these daft plushies that you've picked up? Um, I have bought these before, and they do sell. They are, whoops-a-daisy, what's the brand? Kenji, is it? Kenji. Um... So I'm not sure if it's a Japanese brand or, or South Korea or something like that. Far East brand. Something like that. I've definitely bought them before. Um, now, two are tagged. So these two are tagged. And what did I pay for these for, actually? £10 for the four. I think that one, the two tagged ones, I'm going to go for about £20 each. And the two, these are these are new um but not tag like this one's got its little tag thing left on but no actual tag so these are new but not tagged and um i'm probably going to shoot for about 15 pound each on those two so that's not too bad for a 10 pound spend altogether so lots of plushies today um what's this okay this not that we'll get to that this is a i don't know what it is Right, I don't know what Republic of Gamers is, but it comes with this drawstring shoulder bag and the hat. Um, Republic of Gamers, the choice of champions. So, some kind of gaming. Wow, how did you, how did you come up with that, Chris? Um, I paid five pound for that. And I'm going to shoot for about 35 quid because there are there is evidence of listings and sales. Um, a little bit less just for the hat, but then obviously it comes with the bag as well. So I'm going to go a bit higher. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I bought this really with a mind of keeping it. It's a complete series of V. It cost me £2. It would have been better if it was Blu-ray, but it's DVD. It's worth a tenner if I was selling it. Maybe a bit more because it's sealed. Well, almost sealed. Just a little bit broken there in the seal. So maybe 10 to £12 if I was selling. But I'm probably going to keep that. Until I come round to list and then I'll probably end up listing it. Now, I bought this one um, off a couple of ladies who um, had seen my video and actually seen themselves on video. Um, and I wanted to support their stall. So if you're watching now, ladies, thank you for the deal. That was £2. And um, I think I'm going to go for 15 to 20 on that hat. If it can clean up okay, because it does need a clean. Now let's get to the um, Pizza Planet car. 
It's only a 2011 one. There are better ones. There are better versions than this to pick up. It is missing the figure because I think he should have a like, buzz on the top or something like that. Um, but it's still worth decent money. I paid £2 for this car. I think I'm going to shoot around 25 on that. I'm running out of space. And I picked up these Adidas. Now, I went a bit, I went a bit silly and I paid £7 on these. I probably shouldn't have paid it, right? But I can't find this pair now on, on Google or I can't find it with the art number. I can't find them on eBay. Um, so who knows? Maybe I'll be okay at £7. But yeah, I had a bit of a mad moment and I just paid up for them and I paid 7 So I don't know what these are worth. I'm going to have to do some deep diving on the old research. But uh, if you have a clue, drop us a comment. That's those. Not sure on price. Now look at this. This is a bit of a bolo to look out for. Super Cup football. Um, all, all my mates had this when we were growing up. And it is this sort of football game. Now, most of the time, these come incomplete. You're lucky if you get one that's complete. Um, I'll, I'll quickly show you because you might not recognise it from that. It's the fact that it's got its boxes is good, for starters. I paid £5 for this, by the way. If it works, if it works, we're going to be on to a winner. Even if we, even if it's not, spares and repairs command some decent money. So actually, all the players seem to be on there. Now, whether there's any balls in there, I don't know. Sometimes they're hiding in here. Please be some balls. Ooh. We've got one ball. Got some spare players there. We've got some more spare... Oh, we've got some balls in there as well. It's looking good. Uh, the only thing I'm noticing, we're missing a little twiddly knob, which is not a good sign. But if it works still, I'm going to have to test this out thoroughly. There's no battery in it, obviously. Thing... Anyway, listen, this is a bolo. You need to look out for these. Cost me £5, right? If this was in full working order with the knobbly bit on there and everything and there was no bits missing, you could be you could be anywhere from £50 to £100 because these go for some great money. Just look them up. Super Cup Football, look at solds, and you'll see prices £50 upwards for complete sets. Now, spares and repairs, £30, £35, something like that, spares and repairs. So it's still a winner. Um, whether I could split this up, I don't know. Is this meant to come with it? I'm not sure if that is meant to originally come with it. I don't know. These are spare men. Yeah, maybe I could sell them off as spares or just bung the whole lot together. Anyway, it needs to be tested. We're looking at a minimum 30, hopefully over 50. That's a nice one to look out for. I was really chuffed when I saw that on the floor. And I picked up a Budweiser Christmas Stein. Uh, these normally do pretty well. Went for a period of doing Steins all the time. Um, this cost me £3. Christmas is coming, so I might as well start picking it up. Um, I think £20 to £25 on that. And finally, we're going to finish with the Duck Race Prize. This terrible looking duck. He's not branded or anything. I just saw it and I thought, duck race, and I'm running a bit low on duck race prize. He's got a little baby duck on the back. He's got like a plastic beak. Um, but this is going to be a duck race prize. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, every Monday night at 8 p.m. we're live on YouTube. We're talking about reselling and we're talking about fun stuff and we have a laugh and we also have a duck race and we give away stuff. People give up prizes for the duck race. They donate prizes. It's much appreciated. This one's going to be a prize from me. It's absolutely awful, but uh, no expense spared for the prizes. That cost me a pound. Don't say I never do anything for you. Um, so, yeah, if you've never tuned in on a Monday night at 8pm, please do. We'll see you there. Uh, you might win this duck. That's everything for today. Now all I've got to do is get all this stuff listed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like. See you later. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. If you want to catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones, uh, give it a go, or you can subscribe by pressing this button here.
There you go. See you later.